Hey Floss Tube, my name's Natalie. Um, this is my first ever Floss Tube video. I'm fully expecting it to be a big hot mess. We'll just see what happens, hey? Um, I'm Natalie. This is a Floss Tube and a video about cross stitch and cross stitch techniques. You might have just heard that. Give you a tip. I live in inner Sydney. Um, it's a really urban environment. My street is busy. It just happens. There will be car noise in my videos when there's more air traffic happening because thanks to the situation we're in, there's going to be more air traffic. I'm under the flight path. It's pretty good right now, but there might be a couple of aeroplanes going, going overhead. I'm sorry if that bothers you. Um, I can't do anything about the road or the air air traffic. It is what it is. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I've been asked to show some techniques on um, loop start and loop finishes. Um, so here I am. I did a couple. I did a couple of really quick demo videos for friends, and they said, "Oh, I want to share." So that's why I'm in this situation I'm in. This is my first ever floss tube video. Um, I may do a whip parade or have a chat about plans and things like that. We'll see how it goes. Let's get into it. Okay, I've got us all set up now over one of my whips. I've got a few. This is the Linen and Threads 2020 sale. Um, you can see the last bit of March and that's March. April's design will sit over here. This is fabric 14 count Ada that I dyed myself. So it's probably shrunk to about 15 count. Um, I'm using DMC 3827, just double check. 3827, which is the gold. And then I've got some cottage garden threads, some variegated threads. I love these. Um, they're from a, um, a small floss dyeing company that's, uh, in a, that's from an area where I grew up in country Victoria. So hi guys, thanks for the amazing floss. I will um, get into this demo. Um, I'm going to assume that you all know how to cross stitch. I am going to just give a quick, quick, um, I guess, baseline of how I'm going to do a demonstrate of how I'm going to do this demonstration. All right, just here, we've got our holes. As we make a cross, we go from one to two, then come up at three and go down at four. You might do it differently going from two to one, from four to three, or you might even do it so that you've got um, three to four, one to two. So you've got the um, lower left to top right cross leg of the stitch going over the top. But I stitch from one to two to three to four. Think about where you Make your stitches go where you run your needle, whether, but it will always be the same. I'm going to call each hole the number and you just need to remember the order of the numbers and, um, and you can make it work for you. This is fairly universal. I'm not going to demonstrate all of the methods because I want this to be a short video. Boss tubes are so long. Okay, I'm just going to thread my needle, but as I'm threading it, Loop start, I'm going to demonstrate the basic loop start. We've got a single length of floss doubled over and it creates a loop. And we hook this loop, we were rather we hook our floss through that loop around the fabric to be able to make a nice neat start. The reason why I do the loop start is so that it reduces bulk on the back. So, and also so I don't have to flip my work over. I like to work on a stand and I like it in a particular position and I just don't like 
flipping my work over. I don't need to see the back if I don't have to weave in ends. And so that's what this method is all about. So basic loop, I've got my needle all threaded now. The loop is oh, just here. Get off my needle. There it is. And so we're just going to do a basic loop. So remembering one, two, three, four, we're going to start going down in hole number two. We pull it most of the way through and there's our loop there. We come up at hole number one, go through the loop, pull tight, and back down through hole number two. We've got our first leg and you can see just that little bit of the floss coming through. I'm gonna try and zoom in. There we go. I may have to move my work into a different spot. There we go. So you can kind of see that I've pulled the loop down and the loop is now sitting at the bottom of the of the fabric underneath the work. There is no tail to weave in. Up at three, down at four. And we can keep on stitching if we like, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do one more stitch and then I'm going to finish this, this little set of crosses using a loop finish. So we've done our first leg, one to two. I'm up at three. I'm gonna put the needle back down at three and that creates the loop. I come up at four, through the loop. Sorry, hand was in the way. Back down through three, behind all of those threads and pulled down. I'm going to do a pin stitch to finish. Just up through one bit of the Ada and go down close by, but not immediately next to it. We're just trying to bury the threads in under the weave of the Ada. Up. And we'll slip it off. Nice and close to the fabric. And that keeps everything really neat and tidy. So that is simple loop start. We can do, do it for ninja stitches. You just kind of condense it a little bit. In fact, I'm going to demonstrate that for you now with just doing a single ninja stitch. While I'm doing that, I'll re-thread this needle with, so we can do the simple loop start, followed immediately by a loop finish for that ninja stitch. I'll try and do it before the next lot of cars come through. All right, there we go. So down at two, up at one. Sorry, fingers are in the way through the loop, down at two, pulling it through, up at three, down at three. Sometimes it can be sneaky, but I won't. There we go, up at four, through the loop, Down behind those stitches and it's three there we go and pin stitch to finish Nice and close. Easy, easy. All right. So that is the simple loop start. So what happens if you want to 
stitch with just a single thread like I've done just over here. We can't make a loop because that would then be stitching with a single thread. Sorry, with a double thread. We want to stitch with a single. So we find a way to make a loop a different way. I'm really sorry, I just bumped the camera. We go, where, is, where am I going to work? Here we'll do. Down at four. Hold it to the side. Up at two. Back down through two. There's that loop. I've made it two. All right, this is where it starts to look familiar. Up at one through that loop, pull to the side, it's reasonably secure. You can see that loop just there, I'm going to pull tight. What we're wanting to do now is to go down behind that stitch and pull that loop to the bottom. There we go, it's down the bottom and it's mostly secure. This just finishes it off. We're going to just do a ninja stitch here in the interest of keeping things short. Down through three. Where's that hole? There it is. Up through four. Through the loop. Back down through three. That's it, it's done. Ninja stitch, single loop start, sorry, single strand loop start, single strand loop finish. And let's find a spot where we can do a pin stitch, pin stitch to tidy it off. And of course, it's a little distance away. And what will happen is that Stitches that follow on, especially if you're doing a full coverage project, will cover, oh man, will cover over those loose ends. I'm really sorry about knocking that camera. You are so unbelievably close to the work just here. Just FYI. Now, that simple loop start is great. Single loop start is great. You can use that single loop method, sorry, single single strand method for when you've got odd numbers of threads or blended threads or you just don't have enough of a length or you don't to be able to do a simple loop or you don't don't want to, you've, you want to use scraps i like to be efficient with my stitches all right so here we go we can see just for the purposes i've got the loop at this end and the loose edges are just there same thing Hold those loose ends together, over off to the side, down at four, up at two, down at two, up at one, through that loop. Down two. Ah, nearly lost it. Up at three. There we go, we're secure now. I'm actually giving this quite a good tug. And it's really secure. And down at four. Oh, and the tail, that little tail bit's just tucked around behind. That's all right. That'll just get stitched under. Otherwise clip it off close and a pin stitch nearby again the bit that's being worked underneath will get stitched over
and it'll all be sweet. So you just got a bonus there of my feet through the uh, fabric of the Ada. I forgot to turn the camera around, so lucky you. I'll just say goodbye before the plane goes overhead. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, found it valuable, please hit like, subscribe, share, um, and I'll see you next time.